All right, so when you're applying your soap and when you're rinsing, we're going to switch between our different tips. Um, you've got your long range shooter tip, that's gonna be for the very, very high stuff, basically above your second floor window. And then you've got your different angled tips. Um, some of them you may have two shooters and two, a high pressure tip and a fan tip. You wanna use either your high pressure or your fan tip, which are both gonna be shooting at an angle, to get your lower area. I can hit five to seven, eight sections of siding and go all the way across it instead of hitting it with a shooter tip where I'm like trying to color an entire wall by using a pencil. It doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna show you. So this right here, that's 15 degree. That's 25. That's 40. Okay. And then this, that's zero. Okay. Obviously, it shoots a lot further by doing that than the other tips. But you're going to watch how I'm going to soak this house and how fast we can do it by using the appropriate tips. Um, the other thing is that once I do get my shooter tip on there, I am going to try and paint my corner, paint my outsides, so then I can then hit the entire middle and not have to worry about quite as much overspray. Um, so here we go. Okay, so a couple of things with what I've just done. One, I had to re-soap an area because I hadn't actually run through what was in the line where it had been primed for water or flush with water. Um, you can see, got up about midway on the house 
with the fan tip. If I did that with all just with the shooter tip, it's going to take a lot longer. You're more likely to hit some area with a lot of sauce and not much on the other areas. Make sure both with both ends where we have our downspouts to get the far side of it. Make sure that I'm getting the nooks and crannies on this little bump out for the fireplace. So now I'm going to switch to my shooter tip and hit the rest of it. A couple things with pumps and with our distance on this. So, um, when the pump initially kicks on or kicks back on, that's that initial burst. It's maxed out PSI right then. So one thing we could do, um, really with 12 volt you can't do it anymore, but we used to be able to force feed with a booster pump where you'd get that extra bump of, of sauce uh, or of water, however you wanna look at it. Um, I got up to about the last four or five spots. So now I'm going to put this wand on here. This is going to help me get extra distance because it's able to go another three or four feet before the wind even gets a chance to get onto it. I could switch up. We do have a slightly smaller um, J-Rod shooter tip that we could use. Um, another thing, I've moved my wife's car out of the way. So we could have pre wet it. If the car was here, we would ask the client to move it. Um, I just took her keys and moved it because it's my wife. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and spray the rest of this. So the previous video was talking about leaking fittings. Right now I've had a little bit of house wash mix go down my arm because the O-ring in here, I'll try and show you, you're probably not gonna be able to see that. Um, we'll get a picture of it in a bit, but the one that's in here, and let's we can Whatever. No ring in here looks great. This one does not. That's why it was just leaking all the way down there. You want to make sure, obviously, that your fittings are nice and tight. 
um, but I mean I can visually see that this o-ring is chewed up. So we've got all of our mix on. Uh, I'm going to just set this down here with it. I'm actually going to turn the 12 volt off because in all likelihood we're done. We may need to touch up one or two spots and if we do then I'll turn that back on. Uh, but now I'm going to switch to the pressure washer to rinse. Um, you're going to see I'm going to hit the window first and then this left side that's a little bit sunnier over here because I don't want it to dry on there. This is nice and shaded so we've got time to make this video. Um, if it was two guys on this truck, one guy would go in soap and once it gets about 75% way done the side, the other guy's going to go ahead and start rinsing. Double checking that he missed, didn't miss any spots. Um, that's why I also hit the gutter all the way from end to end. And then I actually hit it again because that's an easy spot for you to miss. You don't want to go up and try and hit it on each pass up. You want to hit it all the way across or get to a spot where like, okay, here above the center of the middle of the door, now I'm going to finish soaping the left side of the house and then, or left half of the front or whatever. So I'm going to turn the pressure washer on.
So, um, that's basically it in a nutshell. Now, I'm actually realizing I've got a little bit at the very top that I need to, which is a little bit more of our house wash mix. You want to catch that obviously before you finish washing the entire thing. Sometimes you have to take a step back, a couple steps back to really see those little spots. I'm going to say we've got the spots where the shutters used to be on the house. Saw me hit the foundation that needs to be done. I'm not showing you in this video cleaning the garage skirt, uh, but we always include that. That little bit of concrete right out front outside of the garage door always gets done. It's always part of the house wash. Um, so it's just kind of something silly that would be silly for us on the sales side to have to, uh, you know, point that out that you need to wash that one little area. So again, I'm going to switch up. Go ahead and get that other thing. A um, couple other things with it when I did the garage doors. So I go around the entire inside of it, hit that, and then hit the actual panels. If you try to just hit it from one area, you're more likely, if I set one spot, I could hit that one, and then I was like, oh, I'm going to hit the other one. You're going to miss a side of it. But if you hit the entire inside of it and then hit the whole middle of it, you're not going to miss an area. Um, what else here? But it should be pretty quick and simple for this. See, the gutters turned out really nice. They cleaned up really well. Um, that's just with a regular apple wash. And, and basically, I had it at a 1.5% bleach, and it was between 2 and 3% for the soap. It's not mean 3% of the mixture is soap, but we're at a 3 on that. Um, the excess stuff from our priming bucket, I could put that bleach uh, priming bucket mix either on the front sidewalk, on this concrete. Just be mindful, you know, we don't want to dump it in somebody's yard. We don't want to, I could dump it right here on the, the, the stones that we have that have grass all over them. Um, so that's another option. Um, and being mindful on this front side, I've got plants over here. I've got a deck over here that I want to make sure that I don't get a whole bunch of overspray on. My dogs are back there, you know, we want the dogs locked up and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, I think that's about it. 